morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm your host, Lisa Halk, the hippie chick. And I have the handsome Dane Henning, the psychedelic dude. How you doing? With us today. How you doing? Yay! I'm back. Glad to have you back. I'm back. It's always fun to have you on the show. I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. You're always interesting. <laughs> interesting. Dane. <laughs> you have your moments. You're interesting. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, It Dane. is almost it's Valentine's tomorrow. Day, isn't it? Tomorrow. It so is happy tomorrow. Valentine's Saint Day to everyone. Valentine's Day. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Time for lovers. Yes. Or to honor a saint. Whichever one you're into, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were Catholic. <laughs> I, I you didn't know I was Catholic? Yes. How did you not know that? I did not know that. No, no. Yeah, you're silly. He's from the third century. Yes. St. Valentine, yeah. St. Valentine, yes. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk about an issue today that I think a lot of people struggle with, and that is starting an important new project. Okay. So it's so easy to say, I'm going to wait until I have this or I have that before you jump into that new guilty, endeavor. Guilty as charged. Yeah. Yes. And so uh, what I am here to say is just do it. Start. Be like Nike and just do it. Be like Nike. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. But start. You don't have to have everything in place. Right. You don't have to know the outcome. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can work toward an outcome. But so often, especially if it's a big project, once you get into it, things change. True. And so you've got to be flexible anyway. So don't be worried about being so organized and having everything done right i think the thing i think about this time of year when we talk about this is us getting ready for conference for cna fest <laughs> yes yes we have literally the worksheet that we have which is not our final one is three pages of things that we're working on right now yeah and it's everything from nominations which are up on the website so Go get your nominations in for your awards. And then also sponsorships mm -hmm. and scholarships. Yep. So many of those things happen in the background. We're working on getting our speakers right now. Well, you know what they say about those big projects? You what? know how they say, um, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. One bite at a time. You just yeah. got to take the baby steps. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, there are lots of studies behind it do the do the easy thing first so that way you can kind of give yourself hope that you can get it done mm, a little step so you can reward yourself yeah, little little yeah, rewards have a along victory. the way have a victory yeah. so that way oh i can no, oh, i can actually do this that's and a keep, good idea. keep going on yeah i, I like keep going. that i have to do that a lot because usually if it's a big project or something like that i tend to go oh my god there's no way I'm doing it's easy so. to get overwhelmed mm -hmm. And, it's, and there's nothing wrong with asking mm -hmm. for help, too. Oh, that's Not exactly wrong right. With for help. That's one thing that I love about this team is we all have our strengths and weaknesses, and so we help each other where mm -hmm. we can. And, and like, I know I, I cannot make graphics. That is not my thing. Dane right. is fabulous at that. Gary is the master Amazing. at that. Yes, so yeah. Yeah. between master. these two people, yeah. <laughs> I rely on them for all those things because yep. they are just so oh, thank you. so good at that. So I'm better than Gary though. Mm -hmm. And I am, but Dane is not good at organization. I am not. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> so, at all. but I am great at that. Great so at it, yeah. I have made the three-page template, yes. <laughs> and everybody has their job they have to do. And I basically and, said, just Lisa, just tell me what I need to do. Yeah, just, tell me what I need just to tell do. me what I need to do. And there's nothing wrong with having those people in your life, in this person, your personal life too. Absolutely. It, it, with home, with, at, with your home stuff, you know, you're better at a certain thing than your partner or your kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. You take, you, you know, you take it, and they'll take care of something that's. You know, that's right. I don't want to vacuum. At. I will make dinner. You vacuum. <laughs> I'll make dinner. <laughs> so it can. It doesn't have to be a big project. It I cannot fold little. laundry. I can't do it. I I actually did it on purpose one time. Just so she'd say, "Don't just ever so do that again." So my wife goes, "No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're not doing this anymore." Men out there do not use that trick. <laughs> we will catch on. <laughs> so, and ladies, if your husband or son or whatever shows that they're exceptionally bad at something, <laughs> go ahead and you can accuse them of doing it on purpose because I've done it many times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll remember that when yeah. we don't get the golf carts or whatever. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> to say, oh, Dane. Oopsie. <laughs> no, Dane's awesome. He'll get it done. I'll get it done. I'll get it done. <laughs> so, um, and I just want to remind everybody, if you wait to start things, yeah. it's, it's a waste of time. Yeah. 
You know, if you had started that project a year ago that you were thinking about, where would you be now? Mm -hmm. You hesitate, you lose. Yeah. I mean, that's just... You, you, the more you are doing something while you're not active, the more time you're just wasting. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, there you know you have to sleep. Well, please. <laughs> okay, you have yes. to have you have to have some rest and some time to reflect and all that kind of good stuff. But your meditation, if, if you have meditation. something that is big <laughs> ahead of you and you just it, it's just sitting out there, it's it makes you feel worse. It just it does. It, does. it makes you feel worse knowing that you have something this thing over your head and you just have to do it. And sometimes it's just better to just go and. Attempt it and give it a shot. Dive in. Yep, dive, dive in. in. And do, don't you find often it ends up being an easier process than you thought it was going to be? Oh, yeah. Overthink it. A lot of times. A lot of times. Know? Yeah. That's, that, see, that's typically my problem is I overthink things. I'm mm. constantly, constantly overthinking it. I'm like, well, what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? <laughs> then we'll deal with it. And it causes, yeah. it causes this element of inactivity and, and not anxiety move. and it's it's yeah. not because it's not due to laziness a lot of times it's just you're overthinking it and mm -hmm. you're and that, that that will that will cripple you time and, and from somebody that like i said at the beginning of the show i am guilty as charged i'm probably the the, the most guilty person of this because uh like she said i'm not good with organization and the reason why is because to me organization seems like this insurmountable task for me to be able to achieve and I am constantly thinking, but also it's also a pessimistic view because you're constantly thinking mm -hmm. of what could go wrong. And if you're constantly thinking about that, if, if you think you can and if you think you can't, you're both equally right. I mean, if you think you can't, you're not going to be able to. If you think you can, you probably can't. Yep. So um, I think Bill Gates said that or something like that. Maybe, Maybe. a little more eloquently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably, probably much more eloquently. Yes. But the point is, just do it. Mm -hmm. Get out there and do it. So think of a project today you've been putting off. Maybe make us a little note to tell us what you're going to work mm -hmm. on. And and uh, just get out there and do it. Start do it. it and see what happens. So, all right. Well, thanks for being with me today. My pleasure. Have you been? We're, we're, like I said, we're looking forward to CNA Fest. And yes. all of that is up on the website. So, nakacna.org. It's at the bottom of the screen there, too. The club account is there, so you can pay into it. You can go ahead and do your registration. We've got everything up there. Just so do it. Just do it. <laughs> go sign up. Let us know you're coming. Okay, till we see you next week. Peace out.